Often in my classes, I've noticed some students struggle to identify the subject and verb in a sentence. Matching the subject and verb is crucial, but it's impossible if you can't identify them in the first place. Today, we're going to unravel the complexities of grammar and sentences. Let's dissect a sentence to see how each part contributes to the whole. Consider this sentence. The act of joyfully sledding down the hill of Troy High School, which famous actor Stephen Yoon, amidst his rising popularity, graduated from and which boasts a large student body of 2,000 students on a day when snow heavily falls, is very enjoyable. Let's start with the core, the subject, and the verb. The main action here is the act of joyfully sledding, with the act as the subject and is enjoyable as the verb. Now, onto the modifiers. Adjectives and adjective clauses describe nouns. For example, famous actor Stephen Yoon, amidst his rising popularity, is a detailed description of Stephen Yoon, adding depth to our understanding of who he is. Adverbs and adverbial clauses modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs answering how, when, where, and why. In our sentence, joyfully on a slippery sled describes how the sledding is done. Understanding this breakdown helps in dissecting complex sentences, making it easier to spot subjects, verbs, and key modifiers. This is vital for SAT success and enhances overall reading comprehension.